large crowds came to him, bringing the lame, the crippled, and the dumb. We probably don't realise this because there's so much else going on, but these Advent as a season in the church actually splits into two parts. The first, the second part, the last from the 17th to the 25th, the last octave, if you like, the last week, is very resolutely, and the weekdays especially, preparing for the coming of the newborn child. And we hear from St. Luke's Gospel and other stories which connect with that. But this first 15, 16 days or so, at least on the weekdays, is rather different. It's about, it's the beginning of the Gospels as they talk about the life of Jesus, his mission, his ministry, his teaching, his parables, his miracles. It's like giving us a a glimpse, a foretaste into this great light which is coming into the world. And so this particular story, which we're very familiar with, it's actually the feeding of 4,000, not 5,000 people, the number we normally associate with this great miracle, is first of all about the coming together of those for whom the gospel is intended. The lame, the crippled, the blind, the dumb. Not just physically, but spiritually too. Those who struggle, those who are, find it difficult, those who can't see what is in front of them, those who find it hard to speak about the gospel. The gospel is for them. The gospel is for us. And so here we are at the beginning, at the beginning of that glimpse into the light which is to come into the world. And in this gospel story as well, it culminates, of course, with a miracle, the, the, the multiplication of loaves, a feeding of so many people, which clearly echoes what we know of the Eucharist, that great gift given to us all. As we open the windows on our liturgical Advent calendar, we see glimpses of light, the hope for which we yearn, the purpose of this Advent season. Chronologically, it seems to be all over the place, but logically, it is absolutely the right path to follow. We see the light which we follow in glimpses. We will celebrate his birth, and we will remember not just the one who is to come into the world, but his teaching, his ministry, his suffering, the struggles which he will befall, and the hope which he brings to us.